It's just so much. Hey everyone, it's Shishima Simone here, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any other videos. And right now, your girl is having some pregnancy cravings. What we're having today right now is some Papa John's. So midday, randomly, we just got some Papa John's pizza. So I just got the cheese with extra cheese on top, some garlic Parmesan wings with a blue cheese for dipping. So that's what we're having. And I got the regular cheese because my daughter, Mila, only likes cheese and I'm actually craving that with a little bit of extra cheese. So we're going to be eating it now. I am currently, as of today, your teeth fell out? What the heck? Mila's eating her pizza and her teeth fell out. Are you crying? No. Oh my God, the baby's teeth. I wasn't expecting that in my intro. Oh my, Mila, you <laughs> oh, your mouth is bleeding. Let's go, hold on. Her tooth fell out while she was eating. Yeah. Oh, Mila called her daddy to show him. She's so excited. She's been waiting. While I was doing my intro, the tooth just fell out while she was eating. <laughs> wow, I was not expecting my intro for my baby's tooth to fall out. And they both in the front were shaking for like a couple of weeks now, almost three weeks now. And it just fell out while eating the pizza. That's so funny. So I am 19 weeks today, 19 weeks pregnant and baby's as big as a mango, according to the pregnancy bottle. So we're gonna feed the baby now with some pizza. <laughs> all that after all that excitement, let's get going because I am hungry. Got some of my shirt. After that, make us my favorite. <laughs> dip it in the blue cheese. Oh my god, it smells like gingerbread. Woody, oh my god, I think we found a candy house. I want to eat this entire house right mm -hmm. now. Now I want one like grown up teeth. Mm-hmm. What a total order. Mm -hmm. When I turn older. Mm-hmm. So you got roll up teeth? Mm -hmm. Will well, I, well, I lose more teeth? Mm -hmm. Will well, I lose more teeth? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The garlic sauce. I need it for every bite. Shoes and oh, look how cute it is. Here's his 
I don't know what is with this dark soda craze. Get some of these wings. You okay, Mimi? I need a flat. Well done. Alright, y'all. I am full. I am full. That was so good. It tastes so good. <laughs> I ate. I actually did not have any breakfast at all. I just had like coffee. And I wasn't really hungry and I was kind of dehydrated so I drank a lot of water um, but now I'm feeling nice and full and I think I'm gonna get some Tums. I'm feeling a little indigestion <clears throat> it's not nothing too crazy though so I'm gonna just um, get some Tums. The Tums are in my room on my bedside because I gotta pop these jammies in as I need them. Okay okay I want to try the other ones that are not chewable to see if they work better. I had a slight nausea this morning, but I didn't throw up and I'm feeling good so far. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm like, what is that in the corner of my eye? <laughs> I almost forgot that was there. I'm going to show y'all two new items that I got from Amazon. An Amazon seller sent over two items to me. And I'm excited. One is a bedside bassinet for the baby. And another is a steamer. Which is going to come in so handy for the baby. And for us. I'm going to show y'all. Alright, so here is the baby bassinet. I have it at the foot of the bed for right now being that i don't have much space over there right now i would have to move some things it is five level height adjustable baby bassinet a bedside sleeper with a comfy mattress inside for girl or boy and it comes in this gray and white so this part on the top is to keep out like flies and mosquitoes and you can zip it off there's also like this shade part here as well and then you could like put it down like this it clips on and off has little hooks right here on it or you could take it completely off and just have the open bassinet here and then it comes with these adjustable straps that i haven't strapped to the bed yet which is to hold the bassinet in place so it doesn't move at all it comes down at the side and you could leave it down which is the part that would be facing the side of your bed and you could easily scoop baby out so it's a nice comfy mattress that comes with it you can put like a fitted sheet on here there's no wheels on the front part but there will wheels on the back where you could tilt it and it'll be easy for you to move it around it does adjust in height right here by clicking this part so you click this part and then you could rise it up it'll go higher as you could see 
so you don't have to um, bend over too, too much. You could also adjust down here. If you want to make hair longer, you see, you can make it longer here to make it stretch out more on the floor. I think that this is a great option for us as a bedside sleeper or bassinet because of the multifunctions that it has. I feel like the color is very gender neutral for baby boy, of course, and if you have a girl. Um, it's a nice, a decent size. So this is a product sold on Amazon, so I'm gonna have it linked below. The price is really really good you guys really good <laughs> okay so here is the standing steamer by Viver as well the same company that made the baby bassinet i love that it has the part right here where you can hang up your clothing items as you're ready to steam and i love that this nozzle right here is so long and there is adjustable parts here where you can make it longer or shorter so you could make it short you can make it longer and you can make it even longer. Two more times, you can put this part away and not have the hanger out. So it's really good on storage because it's very, very slender. And then this part down here is where all the magic happens. So you just take off this tank and you just fill it up with water. It heats up really quickly and it lasts up to 90 minutes. And then here you can choose what you want the function to be for. Silk, wool, cotton, or linen. I'm gonna put it on cotton and you can hear it heating up. It's very, very soft and subtle. It's already starting to blow out the steam. So it heated up in less than a minute. I had wore this shirt the other day. I washed it and it came out crinkly. So I can go ahead and steam it. I could do it laying down or I could keep it standing up. And because of the aluminum technology, it steams pretty fast. Look at how straight that got compared to before. Okay, see it's crinkly right here. Go ahead and steam it. And look at how straight that got. And I barely touched it here. Look at that. I barely touched, you guys watched me barely touch it. It works in minutes. I'm in love. I can't wait to steam everything. And it's really easy to clean. You do 50% vinegar and 50% water in the tank. And then to turn it off, turn the switch to off. And it's off. So those are two great additions that I have. I can't wait to steam all of the baby stuff and my bed sheets. The bassinet is gonna be a great option for baby boy. And it easily folds up and you can pack it away as well. And it's very sturdy. So I'm gonna have the links to both of the items, the bassinet and the steamer in the description box below. So I highly recommend checking these out. These are two great Amazon finds that are very, very inexpensive. Yeah, <laughs> I'm excited for these. So y'all, I don't know if I said it, but it's Saturday. Um, I'm doing homework with Mila now. I normally like to get her homework done on Fridays, but we were a little exhausted yesterday. So um, as long as I get home homework done before Sunday, I feel more at ease, ease to do like Sunday reset or whatever. So <laughs> right now we're doing it. Um, she got proper sleep and everything so she could do her homework and focus. So we're on the independent reading now. She has to do independent reading, but she's very excited about losing that tooth. <laughs> That's all she's been talking about. Um, so Mila's going to read a book. Are oh, you going to show them again? Ah, teet, no teet, no teet. <laughs> okay, Mimi, read this book. Don't be shy. Read this book for us. Sammy at the far, oh wait, you say this title. <laughs> They're practicing reading um, independently at school. So go ahead. Sammy at the farm. Hold the book up for me. And then, uh, and then we're gonna read this one after, come on. Go. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, baby, don't be nervous. Sammy at the farm. Sammy at, at, the farm. Take your time. Take your time. <coughs> Sammy went Good job. to the farm. Sammy saw a cow, but the cow didn't see Sammy. Okay. Speak up, baby. Okay. 
Wolf Bart Sammy. Mm -hmm. Sammy saw pigs, but the pigs didn't see Sammy. <laughs> Wolf Bart Sammy. Sammy saw ducks, but the ducks didn't see Sammy. Okay, slow your finger down a little bit. I want you to touch the word as you're saying it, okay? Woof, bark, Sammy. Sammy saw a horse, but, but the horse. Start that over. You said but twice. Uh, Start over. Mm -hmm. Sammy saw a horse, but the horse didn't see Sammy. Good job. Woof, bark, Sammy. Sammy saw sheep, but the sheep didn't see Sammy. <laughs> Woof, bark, Sammy. Sammy saw a stunk. Skunk. Stunk. Skunk. Stunk. You mad Jamaican. Skunk. Stunk. Skunk. Stunk. <laughs> Look at me. Look at say the word skunk. And the skunk. 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 Say conk. Conk. Skunk. Skunk. Thank you. Saw Sammy. Good job. <laughs> Woof. Mark Sammy. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Good job. Woo, you got to get bathing tomato soup to get the smell off. No, bathing tomato soup with water. Oh, good job. High five. All right, y'all. So, finished up with Mila's homework. And now I am going to start prepping for dinner. I'm having cravings again for curry shrimp the other night i think two vlogs ago i tried it for the first time and showed y'all and it actually came out pretty good so proud of myself oh uh, so i have the shrimp here soaking well, y'all can't even freaking see it soaking <laughs> in some vinegar and water i don't have any more lemon why would i use that but in the meantime I'm going to take my prenatal vitamin. I've shared this with y'all in a couple of videos now. The liquid. And I'm also going to take some. I could hear these people so close. I hate living on the first floor, y'all. I hated it so much. Ugh. Got my water. I'm trying to prioritize water now. Because I'm getting really dehydrated. My lips were so chapped and broken up no matter what I drink. I was drinking like a lot of soda and Gatorade. You would think Gatorade would um make you hydrated, but I feel like it's sodium in it and it was like drying out my lips. It's two tablespoons. It's like it's not a terrible taste to make me nauseous, but it just don't got the best taste. You could taste vitamin. And it has like almost all of the vitamins, like I told y'all before, that is needed. And then I'm going to start taking uh, my biotin drops again because my hair has been falling out a little bit. I don't know if it's like too much heat or it's time to wash or it's my new growth pushing down, split ends. Maybe it's just the, you know, baby. I don't know. But I'm going to wash my hair soon. And I'm just going to take this. So it's half a dropper, which is 15 drops. If you're going to do it by drops, take out some of that. And then I put it in here. Then I wash off my dropper because I put it, it like touched my mouth. And it's like a natural vanilla flavor. It promotes healthy hair, skin, and nails. And this has worked a lot for me in the past. And now I need some water because that was just too much. 
Oh, see my pregnancy bottle? Added mango for 19 weeks. And I have a bunch of other vitamins I shared. Psyllium, which I'm going to take a psyllium. I have D3. Um, vitamin C. And I also have DHA, which is something you could take separately. This and um, folic acid or folate. And then I also take these when I don't feel like swallowing that. But I noticed the pills make me more constipated than the liquid. And then I take my magnesium closer to bed. So I'm going to take a psyllium. And that pizza and wings is heavy on my chest. So I got food in my body. And I'm going to take a vitamin C. A um, thousand milligrams. I like two, so it helps me not get sick. I don't have any more liquid vitamin C, so I just take the pill. <laughs> that hurt. And I'm going to um, fix me some prenatal tea. It helps with um, heartburn and nausea. I'll link this below. I also got this from Amazon. It works pretty well and it's caffeine free. And it's natural. So, um, yeah, let me show you right here. I'm going to take this because I just feel like because I took too long to eat because I wasn't hungry. Gas is trying to fill up in my stomach. And y'all know pregnancy and gas do not work well. And I'm not like saying passing gas. I'm like saying gas like air. <sighs> um, I ate a lot just now. Well, it wasn't just now. It was maybe two hours ago, but it's like, I feel the heartburn. So yeah, you guys, I am literally, so much emotions are going on. <laughs> Mila lost one of her teeth and I'm feeling like she's just growing up so fast. She's five years old and she's like so advanced. Like she's reading, her tooth fell out and the one next to it is shaking, that one's fall out. And it, now, and then I'm pregnant with baby boy, 19 weeks today. It's just so many things. My baby lost her tooth for the first time. Her do no. what? And then now, baby's 19 weeks. I'm gonna be 20 weeks next week, and then I'm five. That's five months. And then before you know it, it's gonna be June. Then he's gonna be here. It's just so much, <laughs> so much. <laughs> Over overly exciting news, though. Also, y'all. I have more time on my hands. I finished all the episodes of True Blood as of yesterday. I cried at the ending. I was also mad at the ending. Like, why is Bill gone? Like, I wasn't expecting that. It made me really sad. And it also reminded me of one of my first loves that I had in my life. <laughs> Similar to that, he also passed away too randomly. Well, it wasn't really random. Like, Bill didn't die randomly, but my, he died randomly. The one that I was with for a while. And it kind of was, like, similar to Suki's situation. And I don't know. It's just sad. I don't know. But, yeah, I got to attach to the characters, y'all. I just want true blood out of my head now because I keep dreaming about it and thinking about it. That's just like when I used to read books like crazy when I was younger. I would get too attached to the books and the characters. But yeah. So I am going to wait for that to defrost and I'm going to go ahead and season up the, chick the curry shrimp. And then make dinner before Lakeith gets home. And then we'll be all set. Alright, so my shrimp is pretty much defrosted. And ice cold water. So I'm just going to rinse off the vinegar. And then I'm going to take the tail shells off. Um, it's de-veined and de-shelled, but the tail is still on for some reason. So I'm just going to take that off really quickly. I mean, if you want to leave it on, you can, but I don't. I just like to eat and not have to pick out things out of my food. Hence why I don't really like fish with bone, because I just like to just eat. <laughs> opposed to pulling 
things out. You called up your girlfriends and your girl didn't let little bitty rage. I heard that she want to go and party. All right, so I took all the tails off. Now I'm just going to take a paper towel and just kind of like pat it dry. As dry as I could get it. Just to get oop, most of the water off. And since I'm cooking the same night and I'm not like marinating it, a little hack is to use some oil, some cooking oil, put it on there. And this is gonna help with the marinating of the seasoning. And I'm using one pound of raw shrimp if I didn't mention that. So you could use any seasoning that you want. Um, I'm gonna be using seafood seasoning um, just to coat it. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of salt, just a little. I'm gonna use some all-purpose seasoning. This is just a sad zone one. And I just like my food very seasoned, especially now pregnant. I really like salty foods, which is probably why I'm also experiencing dehydration. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of Tony Creole seasoning, just a little bit. A little bit of garlic scallions because I'm not using any type of peppers or scallions or anything because I don't have. I'm trying to get into cooking y'all. A little bit of garlic powder, some onion powder, just a little, a little bit of black pepper. And of course, the star of the show, some Jamaican curry powder. This is the one I'm using by Jamaican Choice as what we had in the cupboard, okay? And I'm going to be very, very generous with the curry because this is what I'm craving, curry. I want to taste that curry. And now I'm going to go ahead and mix this up with some gloves. Mm. All right, so after I'm done, this is how it looks when I'm finished mixing it. To see all that curry. And then I'm going to take a plate. And I'm gonna cover it. I'll let that sit covered maybe about 10 minutes while I get started on other things. All right, so I'm gonna be using some all purpose flour to make some small dumplings. Um, usually, this recipe is made with like small pieces of potato. I have potato, but Bob Keith and Mila prefers the dumplings opposed to the potatoes. And I don't mind it either. It gives it a nice little taste. So. I'm gonna make like small little pieces of dumplings, boiled dumplings. So I'm just putting the water in and kneading it slowly as I add the water with the spoon and then I'm going to go with my hands. And then I have water boiling over there so that by the time I make the little dumplings, the water will already be boiling and I could just put it in. And I would say to use a bigger bowl. <laughs> All right, so now that I have it kneaded into this ball, I'm just gonna rip off small pieces, small pieces like this, and just kind of make it a little long. Start like in a ball and then just roll it long ways. Like this. Put it to the side. Make another bowl. 
And you want to have like some flour around it because then it'll get too mushy on your hands. Another one like this. Fall first. And then just roll it, just molding it. And then making it long like this is a lot easier than making like those balls, like the regular looking dumplings. All right, so these are how many dumplings I got. I'm gonna go ahead and just put them in my boiling water. And there's more than enough room in here for them to kind of boil fast. I'm gonna boil them for about 10 minutes and I'm gonna get started on my curry. So I'm gonna chop up a sweet onion. If you have a bell pepper, um, scallion, things like that, um, you can also chop that up. I don't have, but it's okay, it's not a big deal. I have some cooking oil, some vegetable cooking oil heating up on the pan here. And I'm just gonna cut up the onions smaller because Lockheed for me, they don't really like onions. So what I'm gonna do first is what's called burning the curry. Um, this is so that your stomach don't hurt. This is optional. Also using coconut milk is op optional. A lot of people use coconut milk. I'm not using that because um, Lockheed, I feel like that's something that would really run his belly. And I made it last time without coconut milk and you can make it without coconut milk. So I'm just gonna burn the curry here till it just gets brown. And this is about like two teaspoons of curry. And you can add more as you go. So the curry is pretty much burnt here. And this is where I'm gonna go ahead and add my onions. Mila, close my room door. This is gonna have so many spices. Close my room door, please, baby. Thank you. Please, I'm gonna saute these onions. Teaspoon of minced garlic here. You can um, use fresh garlic, obviously. This is what I have here oh. and it already smells so good if i had some time i would add it too but i don't and i'm going to saute this for about two minutes and then um if i had scotch bonnet pepper i would add it now too but i don't and then this just do this until like the onion is translucent and that's kind of like when you know when to stop. I'm gonna add my water. And this is when you would add like chicken broth, but I don't have any chicken broth. So this is about maybe two cups of water. So I'm gonna make my own chicken broth using the chicken bouillon. Teaspoon of this into the water. Get a little bit more. And this is also gonna give it a nice flavor and this is when you could also add some more curry and I'm gonna give it a nice mix here so your coconut milk would have been in here at this time your on your scotch bonnet pepper your green your scallions all of that it would have been very colorful or whatever but I don't got all of that this is what we're gonna do right here. All right, so I'm gonna let this simmer for about two minutes. And then after that, I'm gonna add my shrimp. And now I'm gonna add in the raw shrimp that is seasoned. And then I'm gonna cook it down in this, which is gonna give a nice curry sauce slash gravy. So I didn't fry the shrimp first or anything. It's gonna basically boil or should I say cook down in this, which was so different for me when I first made this. <laughs> 
because normally I like fry my shrimp, but it actually is more tender and nice being cooked down like this opposed to being fried because shrimp cooks so fast that it gets really hard, hard when you fry it and it could easily overcook. But when it cooks down like this, um, it tastes really good and it's nice and tender. And I think that's why Mila likes it more this way. So I'm going to cook this for about seven minutes and then I'm going to add my boiled dumplings. Baby boy is kicking up a storm, so I'm pretty sure he smells the food and it's smelling amazing, okay? So it's been about seven minutes now, and it's really boiling up. It's starting to curl, so I know that it's cooking. So this is the time that I'm going to go ahead and turn down the stove so it could slow cook. And I'm going to add in, I'm making plants in too. Um, I'm going to add in my boiled dumplings. They're pretty much cooked. Add those in. Spread them about. And it's going to help to thicken up the consistency a little bit. Thus as the potato would have done that too. Go ahead and just mix it in. I have to flip my plantain. My plantain is very ripe so it's so soft. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure they're all laying flat. Cook that for an additional seven minutes on low. And now is when I'm going to go ahead and make my white rice so that by the time it's done, everything will be done. This is how it came out. It looks so good. I'm going to add the plantain on the side. Um, but the plantain is kind of soppy looking, so I didn't want to mess up the presentation. And I shared out Mila's bowl and my bowl. And this is Lockheed's bowl. He just came home from work not too long ago. And yeah, I'm proud of myself once again. Hey, right, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you subscribe if you're new and you enjoyed this vlog today. Comment down below something nice and sweet. Thumbs up the video for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.